Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels and for those that are new, welcome to the channel. Uh, you came in on 5th place with 37 likes. Thank you for you liking the video and sharing the video with family and friends. But if you would like to be the first one, the first Zodiac, then keep on hitting those likes, my darlings. And you might be the first one next week. I hope you uh, have enjoyed um, the reading last week, even if you did not hit the like button. So uh, let's hope that this week will be even better. I'm using the nine card spread again, the theme card or the Quirin card. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the four corners to clarify the three tarot and vice versa towards the Lenormand and the three oracle cards the angel feather and this week also the crystal um, card and the angel answer card now if you would like to have an extended reading then you can find the information underneath the video in the description box and uh, please send me an email by all means if you have a question please do not contact me through messenger as i might be uh, taping new videos and it does disturb when i have uh, do making videos you can hear the ping pings or you can the telephone i put out off as well and so please remember send me an email and i will answer you as soon as possible or in the top right hand corner you can find a white circle with an eye and there you will be taken to my website and you'll get all the information different types of readings up to dates reviews etc etc now there will be a new reading placed on the website and that's the um, crystal ball reading and the crystal ball reading obviously already says it it's a reading with the crystal ball but also verified or um, clarified with the tarot cards just to confirm what has been set or seen in the crystal ball even uh, if it comes out in the tarot so that's very exciting and also the oracle cards that goes with an extensive reading so let's get started and your first card is the tower card and here you can see it is number 16 so luck is on your side and the divine or the angels are showing you that change is necessary you didn't make the change you couldn't make a decision perhaps um, or choice and so they stepped in and they showed you that change is needed don't be scared of the tower there's no need take it as an adventure a new adventure that is meant for you so something new is beginning because something most probably wasn't built on proper foundations this could be a friendship a relationship or a business relationship or something that you were busy with and that you um, that it is walking or leading you to a dead end according to the divine and the cosmos they think that you're worth much more than that and they stepped in and they are making the changes remember life in general always has its ups and downs and we do um, learn from our downs as well as ups and just chalk it down as life experience and wisdom now on monday you have the three of wands look at that boat coming in your ship of abundance is coming in your plans are coming to fruition perhaps sooner than you expect it and that could be the change something was not built on proper foundations like i said you might be have been busy with um, a project and there is a better way to go about it um, and you are being guided by the divine and the angels as your plans are coming to fruition you're literally seeing them coming in okay 
just like the boat okay I'm working upside down so sorry I was going like this trying to find the card okay so plans are coming to fruition this could be love this could be moving home this could be a new job anything that you have been busy with manifesting visualizing um, and dreaming or wishing for okay and this is going to be clarified by the page of Pentacles and the page of Pentacles is stands for durability and long term and slowly but steadily and you are learning along the way that could be a, a Virgo a Capricorn or a Taurus that will be giving you the news it could be a young person or you could be meeting one of these three zodiac signs the earth signs um, but it will be something that will um, be for long term and will ret bring return of rediment so you are investing something uh, and it's broken off because it wasn't built on proper foundations but you might have had more fingers in more pies so one of them is you're being redirected to your right project and I'm saying that because you've got the chariot and the chariot represents cancer so you might be redirected to a water sign ooh nice one okay <coughs> excuse me and the chariot also means you are, are a victor you are the hero you're the champion you have come so far and you've won the race wow it also could mean that you might be moving in with an earth sign or cancer if you have a relationship going then uh, or a friendship it might go up to the next level and you might be moving in or you might be moving home or you might be going on holiday travel by something with wheels wow but you're moving onwards and upwards that could also be uh, a promotion you also have public recognition because the chariot races were was done in it, uh, with an audience audience and so the public can see how well you've done and that you are the victor now at the weekend we've got the hanged man and the hanged man means there might be delays this could be a delay although something is coming in there might be a delay but you've got a recognition so don't worry or perhaps you have been through delays and you have victory there might still be a tingly bit of a delay because that is what the hanged man means and also uh, there could have been a delay for four hours four days four weeks or four months well it's been around four months now uh, because we're um, in the seventh month and the covid virus started in march so i think and mercury retrograde will be over at, um, around the 12th of july so i think boom in four weeks time it could be in four weeks time it might be over okay so at the end of July you most probably will start something new because that is the chariot and the tower perhaps the change might be, be coming now and you think alright this is the end of a job I'm going to take I've still got holidays days of holiday I'm going on holiday for the next two weeks and I'll wait the change that could be it because you might have got an other perspective this is not only a spiritual card for meditation and contemplation and evaluation but um, it also means getting an other perspective and you are you like I said here you've manifested 
and you've uh, visualized it, you've dreamt it, you've wished it, and the universe has heard. And you do have a number seven, so luck is on your side. And 16 is also seven, so you've got two sevens. Look at the angels, they're giving you the evidence and the divine that they've got your back covered. Awesome luck. Go and have a look what 77 is on uh, Google and also remember you have now manifested what you have. You've taken four week months perhaps to do this since March. You've been patient and loyal but now your boats are coming in and the angels are giving you a hand. You've got a different perspective. You've gained knowledge. You've gained life experience. You are stronger. You are creative. This is a number three, creativity. Okay, for the first corner, you've got the clovers. Well, the clovers means good luck. That's obvious. Luck in the, um, your plans coming to fruition. Perhaps you wanted a change, but you didn't know how to get this change and so the divine stepped in and the angels you've got what you want because you've been manifesting they have heard you might literally get get together with family and friends because this is the garden and the garden means coming together and it could be parties could be celebrating your new change or your next step in your life we all have faces sometimes up sometimes down when one en uh, ends then there is a new beginning somebody could be coming back from the past okay so this could be presentations meetings birthdays celebrations anything but it could be a cancer that is coming back from the past because it's lying next door to the garden. Wow. Could be totally unexpected that this person is coming back. But you've been manifesting because you wanted this. Good on you. Thoughts do have strength. The power of thought and the mindset that you are in can really change things believe it or not it is the mindset that you're in and you're in a positive mindset you're also in a mindset of protecting yourself you have most probably been isolating yourself as you feel safe um, at home home is the safest place on earth there everything is trusted uh, protected and um, shut off from the outside world. Well with the lockdown we did have the shutdown but now there is a new beginning and this is number four and there's going to be a good steady beginning like the page of pentacles has is coming to tell you. Now don't isolate yourself any longer you can see the gate is open but nobody's going to lock, uh, knock on your closed door you have to come out and you have to network like they did in the olden days when you go to meetings or uh, presentations network put yourself out there if you want to get this promotion or if you want a particular job come out of the house come out of your comfort zone and get out and do it you have gained knowledge you've had the time to okay then we go on to the last corner card and it is the cross like I said you didn't make the decisions or the choice so yes the divine did but with the cross you stand again you stand at a crossroads you have to make decisions what is being represented or what is lying in front of you the news uh, for example can you see it 
can you make a choice there might be more than one choice because we've got the earth signs and cancer here for example <clears throat> you have like anybody else you've got many choices and abundance is coming in this could be work this could be a home this could be a new home or a new love the choice is yours and decisions are yours stand in your strength the luck is on your side don't worry so much like take life as an adventure then it isn't that difficult go with the flow don't go against the flow because that's when you make it difficult have faith in yourself trust yourself you are strong okay <coughs> awesome have faith that this abundance is coming your way. For the angel uh, uh, feather, you've got the light blue angel feather. Break the silence. If somebody is coming back from the past reunion and they were wrong, although I don't see negative cards here about somebody like the fox or the mice, but if they were wrong, then talk to them break the silence if you love somebody or if you fancy somebody break the silence make that new beginning happening it's going to be exciting tell them I'm fed up with passion I want a real relationship I love you have faith in me because they do People do have faith in you and they trust you. So trust yourself and have faith in yourself. Come out of your head. Put the thoughts into action. Boom. That is what the angels are telling you. The angels would like to assist you with a sensitive communication that is required at this moment in time. So open your heart, open your solar plex and open your mouth. Okay, beautiful. Now you have the big spites. Okay, you have the crystal big spite. Get this crystal and it will help you, Aries, on in meditation to give you strength to neutralize nervous energy. And you've got number nine. So there is an end. And like I said, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You have fixed victory. And back, uh, Bix Bite is um, a crystal that means drive, courage, full speed ahead, spirited action. Well, this is the chariot. Action, full this the chariot is like a car full speed ahead go for it and take the courage come out of your head have faith in yourself awesome I love it when cards come together let go let go of what is of no use to you and of the past the, n the new beginning is here go for the new have faith it is just right for you. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. I wish you a beautiful week. And again, please give, a, give us the thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe and like and hit the bell on all. Then you'll be notified when I go live. As I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And I will no put out notifications in on Instagram, Facebook and the community tab on YouTube. Take care my darlings and enjoy your week. Love you loads little Ram. Take care. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.